Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today, as you can see from the video title, I will be filming a slightly different type of collection video. I think we're all used to seeing the typical shoe collection videos or handbag collection videos. Well, I decided to film my designer luxury hat collection. I have so many different styles from different brands and I thought it might be interesting, so I hope you will guys enjoy it. I think my hat obsession started about three or four years ago and I'll tell you the exact hat I still have it in my collection that started my obsession can you guys guess so yeah since then my collection has grown significantly and I wanted to share with you so if you're interested keep watching and also don't forget to follow me on my Instagram which is this one here you can see my daily outfits you can see how I style my new purchases I show you beauty favorites on my stories my daily outfits on my stories as well so if you're interested come say hi I'd love to you there as well okay let's get started okay I think I must start with the hat that started my obsession and how many of you guessed it was the Balenciaga cap this was my first luxury hat and I remember I I was scared when I when I bought this I was like oh my god I just spent so much money on a cap just a plain black cap that I could have bought from anywhere else why did they spend so much money I don't normally wear hats but surprise surprise I I became obsessed with this hat after I bought it I couldn't stop wearing it I still wear it and I enjoy wearing it so much because it goes with absolutely everything this was one of those hot trendy pieces from Balenciaga back in the day and I must say they still make these hats and they're still quite popular they do come in many different colors as well but I'm really happy that I ended up getting the very classic one just black and white this is the hat the cap that started my hat obsession and I absolutely love it still so I was gonna do this by brands and styles but I think I'll just mix it up and show you hats in no particular order so the next one is this bucket hat from Chanel this one I haven't worn that much I think I've worn it only once or twice I bought it last year and I couldn't believe I found it because it was one of those again very trendy pieces that got sold out so fast when the collection launched they didn't even reach the shelves so I kind of missed on it but I wasn't really into bucket hats so to be honest yeah I wasn't interested I never expressed an interest in getting this hat but later on after seeing it all over social media it kind of grew on me and I was already into bucket hats later on I already had a few bucket hats so yeah then I remembered about this Chanel bucket hat and I was like oh Maria you missed on it you're too late now you won't be able to find it ever but surprise surprise they restocked it and I was lucky and I found it so um, I still really love it. Hopefully I'll get a lot more wear this spring summer. I think I got this one last year but it was like end of the year so summer was over and I couldn't really get much wear out of this hat because it's pink, bright pink denim with this neon embroidery, Chanel embroidery on it so that's why I couldn't get much wear out of it but I'm sure I will wear it more this year. I'm excited for spring. Next let's talk about Louis. I have two hats. Let me get the other one. So the first one I'm going to show you both of them together at the same time because it will be easier and they're basically the same style and the same hat just in a different color but I basically couldn't decide which cap I loved more and I ended up getting both of them and I still love both I would say I have definitely worn the black one a lot more but I love the caramel brown you can see the caramel brown is definitely a winter hat because it's wool and it's so soft and cozy in the winter I did wear it a few times however I must say that I have definitely worn the black one a lot more it is their classic style so again this was another hat that I thought I missed on because they never restocked it but they restocked it late last year again they started producing this hat again and I guess they're keeping it as a permanent in their line and they just keep releasing seasonal colors so the 
caramel brown wool cap is a seasonal piece once it's gone it's gone but this one is permanent and if i have to recommend one i would definitely definitely recommend this black one this bit here is like nylon as you can see this like nylon fabric and it is all monogrammed but you can barely see it it's not too in your face it's quite subtle and i love the classic monogram here as well so this one is definitely my favorite Next is one of my newest additions to my collection. I bought this one very recently. This is my latest Chanel bucket hat and I am so so obsessed with this hat. I have already worn it a few times together with my matching denim bag that I bought from the same collection. This one is from the 22p collection. The pink one that I showed you previously, I forgot to mention, was from 21s. I believe yeah definitely spring summer 21 but yeah this is the newest release this also came in a light blue denim but i definitely wanted the dark one i thought the chanel print stood out more i also loved the color combination with the purple and pink writing against the dark gray i thought it would be a bit easier to style as well plus i got the matching bag so i can wear them together and i absolutely love the combo so i got this one in a small actually all my chanel hats are in a small size because they run quite big i find they actually are releasing more with the next collection which is launching very soon <laughs> So keep an eye out if you want to score one of these hats because they, especially the Chanel caps and bucket hats, they sell out so, so fast. Even the winter hats as well, the beanies, they are always so, so popular. So they will have some really cool new bucket hats and caps with the upcoming collection so keep an eye out if you missed on these but yeah this is definitely my current favorite hat maybe because it's the newest let's break it up with a different style i'm gonna show you my chanel beanie hat oh my god i wear this one so much in the winter months it is the softest cashmere little beanie that i have honestly it is so so soft <laughs> and what i love about this hat is that it goes from casual to a bit more dressed up because it's just very classic black and white colors so even if i'm wearing a more dressed up outfit with a pair of heels let's say in the winter i can still put this on and it still looks quite elegant if you know what i mean it's not like too casual looking uh, because it's just the classic black and white colors and this i remember also came in white so basically the same but reversed so it was white hair and the cc logo and the quilted pattern were in black but i definitely preferred this one more because i thought it's a bit more understated although there is a huge white chanel logo right there <laughs> you can clearly see it uh, but I think it blends in quite well with the pattern, with the quilted pattern, so it's not too in your face. But yeah, I'm glad I got the black one because it goes with everything and I wear it so, so much in the winter. It's my favorite winter hat. <laughs> All right, next we have my first ever bucket hat and this hat started my bucket hat obsession. <laughs> yes, I hated, well I didn't hate, but I didn't really, I wasn't a fan of bucket hats before I got this one and I, especially the Dior bucket hats, I remember when they released the bucket hat, especially this style with the net, I was like, no, this is not for me. I didn't like the style at all. I remember many, many years ago when they launched them and I tried them on and I thought they looked really funny. I don't know, I really wasn't a fan. And then a few years later, I guess when the trend died, to be honest, actually this could have been the reason I didn't like it initially because I saw it all over social media. You guys know how Dior does their social media advertising. <laughs> so maybe that's why, maybe because I saw it too much on too many bloggers and I maybe that's why I didn't want one but later on it kind of grew on me like a few years later I was like maybe I should try it out I'm so so glad I bought this hat it's probably one of my most worn hats from my collection and I love that I got the navy and um, it also comes in black but I love the navy because inside you can see the oblique the classic oblique and it really complements the classic oblique it's also a very beautiful neutral I love navy blue it's such a beautiful neutral color it's so easy to style and wear with everything and as you can see I also got this style with the net which is definitely a bit more 
extra uh, but I love it it is so beautiful it gives me French vibes very chic um, so love love this hat and again it runs quite big I got mine in size 57 I kind of wish I got even a smaller size so yeah Dior keeps releasing these bucket hats now with every collection and they release them in so many different colors and fabrics so uh, there are so many options you can choose from again i'll make sure i link my favorites down below for you to check out back to chanel i'm going to show you one of my favorite hats in my collection i love this because of the color by the way it is all stuffed <laughs> because it's soft but this has to be my favorite one of my favorite hats that I own because of the color as I mentioned I absolutely love it it's so vibrant and beautiful I love this color but I also have it in the classic this one is not stuffed you can see it's like quite soft <laughs> uh, but I also have the same one in black so I decided to show you them at the same time this I definitely wear a lot more this I don't wear as much as I would love to again probably because I got it quite late last year summer was already over and i couldn't get much wear out of the blue one but hopefully i'll get to wear it a lot more now that the weather is starting to get warmer again i have a matching bag it's such a nice combo it matches my tiffany green classic flap so well and i also love the beautiful fuchsia pink embroidery um, the cc logo embroidered on it it's such a nice contrast so yeah definitely one of the prettiest hats that I have the color really got me on this one but the black definitely is a lot more classic as you can see it again can be worn in any season oh there is some Yoshi hair on it I need to use the lint roller Yoshi by the way is my cat if you're new to my channel and if you don't know I have a cat he's a very hairy baby <laughs> so he leaves hair everywhere on my hats on my clothes <laughs> but yeah back to the hat I definitely really love the black one uh, because it can be worn in any season I wear this in the warmer months I wear it a lot in the winter very light fabric as well so perfect for the very very hot months it won't keep you too hot <laughs> um, but yeah these are my two Chanel caps that I love so so much let's move on another quite recent purchase this cute Fendi bucket hat this again is definitely a winter hat because it is wool this came in two colors this beautiful creamy color and also a gray you guys know that gray is one of my favorite colors I love gray but I <laughs> bought the matching jacket <laughs> if you haven't watched my unboxing i'll make sure i link it above again for you to check out and i had to get the matching hat plus i don't know i thought this one suits me more and i thought this would be easier to style with like creams whites and because it's a winter hat and i have a few like cream white coats i thought this one i would wear more than the gray one i know i spoke about this hat in a few different videos you guys know how much i wanted it i i don't know i think i went back three times to try it on i wasn't sure if i should buy it because i already have too many hats but at the end i couldn't resist after i bought the jacket as well i was like okay i need the matching hat it is the cutest look ever um, so yeah, I ended up getting it and it is so so cute and it's actually my one and only Fendi hat that I have currently so really love it. Next is this Prada beanie hat that I got this winter. I got this one on sale and I was so so happy that I scored this on sale. I don't know if you guys remember I showed you this hat with the matching scarf in my Heathrow shopping vlog. When I traveled in the summer I saw this one at Heathrow styled with the scarf and I really loved it so I've been eyeing it since then and this is actually from the men's collection. I love the Prada nylon detail very classic typical Prada I loved the nylon bit and it has the Prada triangle logo on the front this one is definitely much thicker wool hat compared to the Chanel beanie hat that I showed you this is definitely thicker I would say warmer as well but the fabric is a bit rougher it definitely doesn't feel as luxurious as the Chanel cashmere beanie hat um, but I still enjoy wearing this a lot I wear it a lot with my 
Prada crystal bag and it looks so cool, a bit more edgy, um, more casual every day compared to the Chanel beanie as well. Uh, the Chanel beanie could be dressed up as I mentioned, whereas this is definitely a bit more casual, but I still love it. And yeah, this is, oh, we have one more and that's it. So this is the Prada beanie. And last, we have some more Dior. This one is the only hat that I keep in the dust bag because it's quite delicate. And it is my straw Dior bucket hat. I love this hat so much, but actually this one made my worst purchases of 2021 video because I didn't get a chance to use it last year. Again, I bought this one quite late. The summer was over when i bought this hat so hopefully i will wear this hat this year i still i haven't sold it i don't want to sell it to be honest because it's so so pretty and it was quite pricey as well um so i really want to make it work and hopefully i will get to use it in the summer it's definitely a very summery hat uh, very seasonal and also it will be perfect for holidays i also got this one because the embroidery matches my lady deal perfectly it's the same color this hat also came in different color it came in like a navy straw uh, in white i think the new collection one is white and also this exact same one as mine came with navy blue embroidery but i ended up getting this because i wear my lady deal bag in the summer um, it's definitely a more summery bag and i wanted to match to my lady deal thought it would be a nice combo you guys know i like to be matchy matchy so yeah hopefully i will wear it this year and maybe it will make my best purchases next year who knows uh, but yeah this is the last hat <laughs> all right guys that's all i really hope you enjoyed today's hat collection video let me know what you think in the comment section down below which one was your favorite hat let me know in the comments let's chat thank you so so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you very very soon in my next one bye